Good morning. Uh, I hope everyone's doing really well. Uh, I'm out fishing again. Uh, it's Saturday morning. Um, still in the middle of doing these three three nights, uh, one venue session. I did have a go on Thursday, but it was massively blown out and weedy. So I fished for maybe 40 minutes and I had to pack up. It's just unfishable. Uh, but I'm out today, daytime session. Daisy's gone shopping in Southampton and I have got all day fishing. So I've got half a pound of rag. I've got some squid, I've got half a side of mackerel. I've got a load of uh, crab legs. Uh, and I am down at the Broken Wall again uh, in Totland. Because uh, the last time I was here was about two months ago and I had a couple of nice bream. And behind me is a chap called Steve, you can just see him there. And he's just had two lovely bream in the space of time that I've been setting my rods up. So my, my squid's not defrosted, so I've just got some worm on. I just want to whack them out straight away. So I'll quickly show you them now and then I'm getting fishing because he's just honestly maybe just under two pounds they're decent decent bream so with any luck I can get some for the freezer as well uh, right so very very quickly so I can just chuck these out um, using the both the competition match rods uh, Tronics Pro uh, the reels are the Shimano's 14,000 Speedmasters uh, 25 pounds straight through uh, so I don't need distance today at all and to be honest I'm, I'm all right with the 25 pounds straight through uh, I've got a running uh, what have I got on this one a uh, Wessex rig uh, with some loomy beads size two crab hooks I believe and on the other side uh, I've got a uh, Portsmouth loop rig with size ones I believe uh, everything's got rag on at the moment managed to get a tiny bit of frozen uh, squid on that one but it's super hard so I need to defrost it let's get these out Well, there we go. We've got, got them in the water anyway. Tide's pretty much, um, well, high tide. It's a bit of a long one again today. High tide is about 11 o'clock. Um, so it's coming in. I mean, it's raging over the uh, over Warden Ledge over there. Um, you can see I'm side on. Um, but yeah, the tide is really racing at the moment. So I'm hoping I'm hitting the bottom and staying there. I need to get some of this squid defrosted, so. Hopefully, get a fish. I uh, just had a bait change. Uh, both rods totally stripped. It was rag on both rods, so I kind of expected it to be honest. But uh, yeah, I've just changed them up now. Got one. One was snagged. Like I say, it's been moving a bit. Just lost a hook, so that's cool. At least I've got the lead back. I've got plenty of rigs anyway, so. Uh, so I've just chucked out uh, rag, rag tip with squid, and rag tip with uh, crab leg. So hopefully, be able to tie something in. Yeah, there we go. I've just chucked them out again. A bit awkward here on the corner. But the, um, the rag is just getting stripped straight away. Uh, so I've put on some, um, some squid this time around, some squid, some, some crab legs. Just had a little knock on this one. I hope you can see it. So uh, with any luck, it won't be too long before I get a fish. Oh, I'm 
There we go. We got one. Not a bad size one actually. I don't know, must must maybe about just over a pound, pound three, something like that. Not as big as Steve's, he had some clonkers. But I'll be taking that one for sure. Look at that, beautiful. <laughs> Wicked. Yeah, today was all about coming out and getting some bream. Uh, so I'm really chuffed that I managed to get one, to be honest. I'd say high tide is probably not for another couple of hours, so well, I say that's probably gone a lot quicker than I thought. But I'm going to push it out. I've got to say, I've got some load of rag. Rag is just getting stripped straight away, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that, whether I'm going to continue to use it or not. But yeah, it seemed to be the uh, the squid, squid head on that one. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I've got half a bag of squid, I've got some mackerel, uh, we'll just keep chucking them out. Hopefully get a few for the freezer. Yeah man, wicked. I love fishing in the daytime. Yeah, super nice, super relaxed, and you can see what you're doing, and the sun's shining, it's nice. Well, that wind has dropped right off now. It's absolutely glorious out here, the sun's shining, barely a cloud in the sky. Sea's really, uh, really calmed down. There's a lot of colour in the water. So I'm, um, I don't know, I'm thinking that could help with the fishing. No idea, really, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, stunning. Like I, said, I don't know how long I've been fishing, maybe an hour and a half, had that bream. And Steve had those two bream literally as I got here. And they were clonkers, man. <laughs> really good size. I'd be very happy if I got one like that. Wasps are coming out to play again. Just, I didn't think there'd be many about now, but yeah, there's loads about but yeah i've got quite a few hours of fishing ahead of me so i'm really looking forward to it hopefully we can get something else steve's has had another monster bream easily two pound i'd say i haven't got any scales unfortunately been getting a couple of bites uh missed one i don't i've lost some footage i forgot to put the uh, battery pack on the on the phone so i'll have to look back to see where it is but anyway so i've had a bream but two rats missed a really nice fish into a snag lost all the gear um getting a couple of knocks now and uh yeah steve's just pulled out a huge bream yeah nice fish. Ooh, hello. Consolation prize, a crab that <laughs> just lost a bream. Uh, that was on mackerel. I've never really used mackerel for bream before. And uh, it was in a snag, I could feel it. It came free and I, I thought it'd come off because all I could see was the crab and then I suddenly saw the fish and it just started off just, just at the last second. But it's still out there, so get some more bait in the water. Literally just recast that 
and had a bite on it straight away <laughs> but I missed it so with any luck I've tried to get it in roughly the same place but we'll see what happens <laughs> Yeah, straight in the same spot again. Alright, third time lucky. I've got him that time. That's a beauty bream. Well happy with that. Yeah, I chucked it. I missed two in the same spot and I literally just chucked it straight back. Didn't even touch the touch the bait, just lobbed it straight back in. There we go, they're back on the feed by the looks of it. Ah, oh, stoked. Bream fishing. go bream number three took that one really deep size two hook size two crab hook uh, on mackerel that time clean plain mackerel literally just chucked it out there we go another one for the pot the rod's just going but it's gone straight in a snag and it's on there yeah definitely on there definitely on there still
on there still. There he is. Now we're cooking. <laughs> Happy days. Snag, let it be, let it be, let it be. And we landed it. Another stunning, stunning bream. Really good stamp of fish today. It's really nice to see. I don't know if it's because it's later in the year or what, but they're certainly coming out thick and fast now. I say thick and fast. I've had four, so I'm chuffed. Well, that would have been cool. Uh, thought it was another bream, but it's actually a garfish, and it was a really good size as well. But it literally came off just down here. Uh, so I haven't done too bad. I've missed quite a few fish today, to be honest. Uh, but landed four bream now and two rats. So really enjoying it. Good couple of hours into the ebb now, and it seems to switch the fish on. So fingers crossed to get another couple. But it would have been nice to get that gar. It was a decent sized garfish. I haven't landed one this year, so for the little uh, species hunt that we're having, like among friends, that would have been a new species for me this year. I reckon that will probably have picked that up. <laughs> Had a monumental crack off. Forgot to take the baying arm off. I'm trying to whack it out there as well. Probably trying to do the biggest cast that I've done all day and I forgot to take the baying arm off. Uh, so last chuck now anyway. It's gone, been dead. Nothing, rods have hardly moved in the last sort of hour and a half. May even be two hours now. It's gone super quick. Uh, yeah, so might pick something up, might not but we can always hope. Very much like a bite. That's a bream, isn't it?
up the last cast. Look at that. That is, I'm going to say, by far my biggest bream. Took it quite deep, so I had to get the uh, the T bar on it. But look at that. Epic. Absolutely epic. Last chuck. I mean, we haven't had a bite, neither of us, for probably an hour and a half at least, I would have said. And then, yeah, got that bad boy out. Look at that. Happy days. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good size, isn't it? I'm all packed up. Well, I'm not packed up. I've packed one rod up after getting that bream. I've just pulled in the last rod then. There's no bait left on it. Uh, and a garfish was following it. Obviously, it's got beads on it and stuff. So, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't land that garfish earlier. But to be honest, I really can't complain. I've had five bream, all really good fish. That last one is probably my biggest bream yet. Uh, right old lump. So yeah, I'm super, super chuffed about that. Uh, so they're all in the cool box. Uh, yeah, time to head back home. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I really have. It's been nice. Met, met Steve here. He was already fishing when I got here. And uh, so yeah, it's always nice to meet new people. And uh, and we both got into some fish. So yeah, it's been epic. So yeah, pack this lot up, get home, clean some fish. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please like, push the uh, you know the thumbs up icon. And if you haven't already subscribed, then please do. Until the next one, take care, stay safe, maybe see you out there, cheers.